Hey everyone, my name's Ewan, and if you want to use OSC to control the middle of this uh, XY morphing grid, uh, you can. Uh, you can use a Touch OSC uh, compatible device. So I've got an iOS device here uh, with OSC installed. Um, what you're going to first need to do is find out the IP address of your computer. So at the minute, mine is uh, 192.168.059. Um, it will almost always start with uh, 192.168.0 something something. That's just the standard for um, network connectivity um, based on your local network. It might change if you're on a, a business owned Wi-Fi or something or custom, but that's like the most default. Um, and you can find it by going to your network settings, whether you're on Mac or Windows, it's basically the same thing. Um, then when you've done that, uh, what you need to do is select your port. So I've got send port here uh, using UDP and um, make sure that's selected. And my send port, I can change it to any four digit number. So let's do 3009. Sweet. But next, I need to go to EB Quasi Crystal and set the same port. So 3009, hit enter. And now that port is uh, enabled. And now when I hit play on my uh, OSC, uh, I should be able to control the XY grid. Um, if you do want to uh, go for a manual control and create your own XY grid or use another application that needs to send OSC data, um, in the manual there's a way you can send um, grid X and grid Y. Um, that's how you set that up. If you have any issues setting it up, please let me know and I will help you. Um, just give me a DM uh, with the contact button and I will give you a hand.